Welcome to Learners Planet my dear children children in today's session we will study about the green plants so this is session 1 about the green plants in which you will learn about leaf right so we will start with this session now children most of the plants on earth are green plants right you must have seen around you that all the plants are mostly green in color right so why they are green in color why there are most of the plants green plants on earth let's see children the green plants appear green in color due to the presence of a substance called chlorophyll in the leaves so children chlorophyll is such a substance which is present in the leaves of the plants and because of this substance called chlorophyll the green plants appear green in color so you can see in the picture right this is a picture of chlorophyll and chlorophyll are very very small substances present in the leaf and that is why most plants on the earth are green in color so always remember that chlorophyll is a substance due to which green plants appear green in color so children what is actually chlorophyll for what does it do to the chlor what it does to the plants why is it important because chlorophyll helps the plants to make their own food so children chlorophyll is very important right chlorophyll does not only gives green color to the plants but it helps the plants to make their own food right so because of this chlorophyll is very important for the plants and because of this chlorophyll plants appear green in color and plants are also making their own food because of the help of chlorophyll right so you can see in the picture there are green leaves and in these leaves chlorophyll is present and chlorophyll also helps the plant to make their own food like different vegetables and fruits so children green plants are very important for us they are also able to utilize sunlight right sunlight is very important for the plants so with the help of sunlight and carbon dioxide which is present in the air green plants are able to utilize and make their own food so always remember that green plants are able to utilize sunlight and carbon dioxide which is present in the air to make their own food so children green plants need chlorophyll they also need sunlight and they also need carbon dioxide present in the air to make their own food so children we can see different types of plants in the garden right all are not green in color right some are very colorful like they are having purple color pink color yellow color red color so we see different types of plants in the garden right so now we will study about leaf so what is actually leaf yes children is a part of the plant which helps the plants to make the food right so now we will see different types of leaves so children different plants have different types of leaves as you can see in the picture there are so many different types of plants right 
and all the plants have different types of leaves now let's study about different types of leaves of different kinds of plants for example maple leaf then this is a picture of neem leaves this is a picture of tulsi leaves then pine leaves then gulmohar leaves right can you see it is so beautiful then eucalyptus leaves right so you can see the shape of these leaves they are very different from the leaves which we saw then banyan leaf and banana leaf right so all the examples which we saw right now they are all different leaves because all are from different plants so we can say that different plants have different types of leaves so by looking at its leaves we can identify the whole plant right so children now we will study about parts of a leaf right so children if we look at a leaf very closely we will see that it has a flat part and what it is called as yes this flat part is called the leaf blade so children the flat part of the leaf is called leaf blade and as you can see in the picture if you look at a leaf very closely you can see some veins right so these are side veins and you can see one line in the middle of the leaf what is it called as yes this is the main vein right so this is the main vein of a leaf and here there are side veins of a leaf and the flat part is called the leaf blade all right children so have you got it it's very simple so there are how many parts of a leaf yes there are side veins there is one main vein and the flat part is called the leaf blade right so children based on this some leaves are very broad and some are narrow so we can see that some leaves have very broad leaf blade right while some have narrow leaf blade as you can see the difference in this picture right this is a leaf with a broad leaf blade and this is a leaf with a narrow leaf blade so children each leaf usually has one main vein and many side veins so children you can see in all the pictures that all the leaves have one main vein and it has many side veins right see in the picture you will be able to identify and you will be able to see that so always remember that each leaf usually has one main vein and many side veins so children what are these veins for why they are helpful to us yes let's see these veins that means main vein and side veins help in transportation of substances to and from the leaf right they will transport the substances to the leaf and they will also transport it from the leaf to different parts of the plant okay children so what are these substances yes they transport water minerals 
and prepared food so these all substances are transported through these veins so children the main vein and the side veins are very important and helpful for the transportation of substances like water minerals and prepared food to and from the leaf so children if we turn a leaf over and look closely with the help of hand lens as you can see in the picture this is a hand lens you can also say or you can also call it as magnifying lens so children if you have magnifying lens then do this experiment if you turn a leaf and if you look closely with the help of hand lens you will see millions of tiny holes in it right like you can see in the picture it is showing tiny holes right so this is a very beautiful girl who is doing this experiment she takes a leaf and looks closely with the help of a magnifying or a hand lens and she saw that there are millions of tiny holes so what are these tiny holes yes these tiny holes are known as stomata which help the plant to breathe so children we can say that leaves are very very important for a plant so children you can see here that this is the picture of a leaf you can see one main vein and many side veins they are helpful for the transportation to and fro to and for the leaf right and there are also tiny holes which you can see through magnifying lens right so these tiny holes are called as stomata right so this is a picture of a stomata and stomata are very small in shape and small in size right so they are not small in shape right their shape is like this but they are very small in size so we have shown you a picture of stomata right so this is called stomata these are tiny holes called as stomata right and in singular form we can also call them as stoma so these are very helpful for breathing so stomata helps the plant to breathe thus we can say that leaves are very important for a plant now we will study about functions of a leaf so what are the functions of the leaf children a leaf performs the following functions like leaf is known as the food factory of a plant so children why it is called as food factory of a plant yes children a leaf is green in color so it is the green leaf of the plant that manufactures the food so the leaf which manufactures food is called or it is known as the food factory of a plant so children it also helps a plant to breathe through the holes on its surface right so you can see the picture of a leaf and one such leaf helps a plant to breathe through the holes on its surface which are called as stomata 
right so there are many such leaves on one plant so you can imagine that how it helps the plant to breathe very freely right because it has holes on its surface and these tiny holes are called as stomata as we saw before so children some plants such as mint spinach and cabbage have leaves that can be eaten as food so you can see in the picture that there are many leaves of such plants so such plants have leaves that can be directly eaten as food then some leaves have medicinal value also like for example neem and tulsi right so neem and tulsi are some plants whose leaves have medicinal types of uses right we can use it as medicine because it can cure our disease okay children so children i hope that you enjoyed this session and learned about types of leaves and functions of leaves so we will continue this lesson in the next session so don't go away anywhere right in the next session we will learn more about leaves till then keep learning and keep enjoying thank you children